Alright, good morning guys, good morning brothers and sisters So here I am again, so continuation lang sa video ko kahapon Or nang, nung nakarang Monday about my testimony How I, how God changed my life when I'm here in Thailand So today, uh, I'm going to share you again One more topic is uh, how to pray Okay, so how do we pray? Paano tayo magdasal? Okay, so yun guys, as you can see Uh, makikita nyo yung daan So I've been, I'm traveling going to my work today So hopefully this video can help you to understand how to pray with God And how to seek some blessings And also how to have a good relationship to Him Okay, alright so let's go to our topic guys Okay, so our topic guys for today, brother and sisters Actually I'm a fully Christian And I'm still uh, developing my Christianity But as of now, compared for the past few years My, my uh, being a Christian is actually You think about circumstances or consequences If you are doing some things or some sins Okay, so Ngayon, so ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon guys Is how to pray Okay, marami tayong mga Good word, okay, 
the good job that we are going to do again the whole day okay so actually my experience guys I, I pray okay, I pray in the morning when I walk up and also I pray before I will travel going to work so I travel araw-araw and of course uh, after I arrive at school I pray also to say good thanks that God guide me in a safe way to arrive at my school at my work and of course I pray also before I travel going back home and of course before I will go to bed I always pray what I receive for the whole day okay so if you pray mo kung ano yung mga na-receive mo in the day hindi lang naman mag-pray ka thank you Lord dahil sa mga sa mga kung, kung may, may natanggap ng pera di ba di ba hindi lang naman sa material eh. so papasalamat ka kung ano yung natanggap mo within the day okay so good health and everything alright so in the morning I pray and of course I do the devotion okay devotions yung pag pag-aral mo ng Bible after after you uh, woke up in the morning you need to read your Bible too even just only one verse two verse or three verse na as long as you can uh, manage your time especially if you are working okay you need to manage your time you need to take time at least five minutes or ten minutes reading a Bible and then just keep praying in a silent way okay you just close your eyes you need you need to think properly according to your heart listen to your heart you want to ask and thanks to the Lord kasi yan ang pinaka important din guys eh. I learned some uh, verses kasi yung mga Bible, Bible verse yan ang ano natin eh sword natin okay mga yan ang sandata natin sa ating araw-araw na buhay hindi natin alam kung kailan pa kailan darating ang Panginoon para mag-judge okay so ang tingin ko malapit na as you can see uh, in the whole world right now ano makikita nyo sa mga salo sa sa buong mundo ngayon nangyayari na ako rin ng Panginoon nagsisimula na so, so I encourage you guys okay think properly think okay think deeply okay so think deeply i-accept mo na ikaw ay makasalanan okay i-accept mo na ikaw ay sinner humingi ka ng tawad sa Panginoon habang humingi ka ng tawad sa Panginoon nagpre-pray ka and of course hindi lang naman sa paghingi ng tawad ng Panginoon para masave ka eh. Kailangan mo rin gumawa ng ibang paraan para ikaw ay masave. At yung relationship mo with God is maging equip ba? Diba? Maging equip. Maging mahipit ba? Paano? Ano natin? Iano yan? Share. Share the word of God share the good news to others okay not just only by help not just only by work okay so kung may pagkakataon kang i-share sa ibang tao i-share mo so maraming ta mar maraming paraan para i-share ang ating kalaman sa Bible okay actually my, the Bible is the, the, the most important thing for me okay kasi yan ang way ko eh, yan ang nag-guide sa akin. Kumbaga, yung mga word of God, yan ang mga sandata sa aking buhay para harapin ang mga pagsubok sa nagmarating sa aking buhay. Actually, we have a lot of challenges that happens to our life. Hindi man tayo pare-parehas, pero uh, ang pag-handle pag natin, yung mga challenges, kung ikaw ay anak ng Panginoon or uh, inaccept mo yung Panginoon, yung Espiritu ng Panginoon sa iyo o inaccept mo, inilagay mo sa sarili mo lahat ng challenges ng, sa ating buhay na lalagpasan mo kasi naniniwala ka, nandyan yung Panginoon para sa iyo, naniniwala ka na yung Panginoon, tutulungan ka okay tutulungan ka in the sense na tutulungan ka mag-isip okay? mag-isip ng mabuti mabuting paraan para maging, maging smooth yung pagdidesisyon mo ang prayer is very powerful guys very powerful kung nagpray ka of course bibigay naman yan eh kung nagpray ka hindi naman sa material things lang okay prayers is a way okay it's a way to have a good relationship with God to talk with God every day okay to keep
keep you safety to give you everything actually ang Panginoon naman nasa tabi naman lagi natin pag kinakausap natin siya okay so prayer is very important guys okay prayer is very important so I encourage you to pray okay so actually my devotion this morning is all about prayer how to pray okay so I read the Bible and it says there prayer is very important and prayer is the one who have a good relationship to him So, yan guys, yan ang ating uh, devotion for today, yan ang ating sharing for today. So, hopefully, nagiging, magiging maganda ang buhay natin kung ang Panginoon ay nasa sa atin. Okay? So, sana itong video na to ay makatulong sa inyo para pag way mo is baluktot, pwede mo namang ituwid yan eh. Okay? So, there are many ways to ano, make your life going to a uh, good way, not in a bad way. So, yan guys, ang ating uh, sharing for today. So, hopefully, it can, it can help you. Okay? It can help you. So, thank you so much and of course, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click the notification bell also to be updated to our new videos. So, thank you so much guys and have a good day. Goodbye!